Hey look, I may not have done any videos last week, but I sure have an actual TBR or something like it for the next couple of weeks, so uh, let's talk about that, shall we? Cheers. Welcome back everybody. This is Weekly Naval Gazing, once again a day late for um, reasons that we'll get into quickly later on. Um, we're going to talk about what I read last week, <clears throat> what I plan to read this week, what I did last week, what I failed to do last week, what I plan to do this week, and so on. And we'll see how all of that goes. So what did I actually read last week? Well, not too much fiction, I guess, and uh, still other things. So see, um, I obviously finished uh, The Darkness That Comes Before by R. Scott Baker, and it's okay. I finished Wistful Ascending by J.C.M. Byrne, which was a lot of fun, and um, just the right amount of uh, positive things in a otherwise dark and bleak week. And then I uh, read and finished The City We Became by N.K. Jemisin. That was sort of a reread, because I'm really, really excited for her new book, um, The World We Make, which is what I'll read from today on. And I'm, I'm really excited. Um, I do believe that uh, Jameson is possibly the best or most relevant author in the fantastic right now, or one of the top three or four most important, most relevant authors that we have in the fantasy, science fiction, whatever sphere right now. The things they tackle, the things they um, look at are just, you know, Glorious. There's a bunch of other of others, and we'll come to those when we talk about my almost TBR. <laughs> but yeah, and um, so I did go and recheck um, the city we became from uh, 2020, and um, done with that today. So I'll start the world we make, which is the follow up for that the great cities um, storyline, and I'm, I'm I'm very very excited. I think there'll be very you know, there'll be important things in there that will, you know, vibe well with my personal level of anger. What else am I planning to read since we have gotten there? Yeah, let's talk about, um, let's talk about, um, other reading plans for this week. On Thursday, it seems, there will be a new La Vitidar novel, and since I'm apparently the only person on BookTube that <laughs> thinks about talking about La Vitidar novels, um, I'm, I'm more than excited. And there will be another one the week after. We'll talk about that later when we talk about my almost TBR for this month. <laughs> so that's the plan, to read the new La Vitidar novel called Maror, I think, however you pronounce that. I'll know more. Um... And, uh, yeah, there we go. Beyond that, well, The Fifth Elephant, because we're going to talk about um, The Fifth Elephant on Sunday in our Discworld read-along discussion group. If you want to join that, talk a bit of, you know, Fifth Elephant with us. Uh, no recordings, so you don't have to worry about that. You're more than welcome. you got a week's time, almost, to read that thing, and it's not that long. It's also very good. Those are my rough reading plans for this week. And um, hopefully I'll even make some videos and just, just, just maybe I'll start reading Ilium, but I'm not quite sure. So yeah, videos. I didn't make any videos beyond the weekly navel gazing last week. Well, no, like, me talking and doing videos. Oh, and I almost forgot something else that I've read, because we only talked about fiction. We'll talk about the non-fiction stuff that I've read later. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> so, yeah, I didn't make any of those videos. I said I wanted to make a um, Rise of Endymion video, and I think I've got the structure right, but my last attempts to actually record the thing failed halfway through, because I just completely lost the thread and stuff like that, so they don't work. Um, I have to redo it, but I'm, I'm more confident that I will be able to actually record the thing tomorrow. Ideally, even edit, well, render it for tomorrow, so you'll hopefully have a Rise of Endymion, me being angry about it video very soon. And um, beyond that, there is obviously plans for other videos, but I did something last week, and that was have a conversation with JCM Byrne about Wistful Ascending and a lot of other things. And Joe's a fantastic author. He's a fantastic dude. Uh, we had a great conversation there. I know it's long. It's over two hours. It's wandering and goes in all kinds of directions. But if you, you know, want to hear a bit about like the realities of being a self-published author, want to hear a bit about, you know, full processes that go into like writing stories, want to hear all kinds of other stuff, 
yeah, why not check it out in, in, in parts or chapters or whatever. And, you know, also give Joe's book, you know, a read. It's, 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 it's good and the audiobook is really good. So, I don't know. <laughs> There's something you can do. And then I obviously did talk in a conversation with um, Philip Chase, who's hosting the whole thing, and Joanna and Jimmy from the Fantasy Networks on The Darkness That Comes Before by R. Scott Baker. And that will be out on Philip's channel on Thursday. So keep an eye out for that one. Um, it was long. And it was very informative. I hope you'll find something in that discussion as well. I had a lot of fun. We'll be doing it again sometime in December. We'll see how that goes. Video plans. As I said, The Rise of Endymion. I want to I wanna get rid of that book from my brain for, for now. So that's going to happen in the next couple of days. Hopefully tomorrow. Maybe tonight, but I'm very, very tired, so probably not. Um... Beyond that, there's still the book dragon tag that uh, Liam over at Liam's Lyceum has tagged me for. I just need to actually sit down and do it. So maybe I'll manage to actually slip that one in over the next couple of days because I've been working on a longer video and that one may take a day or two longer still. And that is, of course, a video on anti-Semitism. See, I've mentioned it last week, and I think, yeah, well, I'll just do that. So I'm working on a structure for a video on anti-Semitic tropes and stereotypes and narratives in fantasy books and possibly even science fiction books. So we can all look at those tropes and recognize them when we find them, when we encounter them in whatever books we're reading, and maybe stay away from those and try to not perpetuate them in the future. That's sort of the goal there. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm taking this one very seriously. It's it's very much a, you know, sensitive topic, and I'll, I'll try my best to, you know, handle it with, um, with the sensitivity. I'll see if I can find, um, you know, someone with a Jewish background to watch the video before I actually publish it, so I'm not going to blunder too far. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> if any of you are Jewish and want to have like a peek at what I'm doing before it you know, goes public and just give me some feedback on whether I'm, you know, misspeak somewhere too brutally, um, you know, let me know in the comments and I might just ask you. I mean, <laughs> seriously, I just want want to make sure I'm not going, you know, to do something dumb here. That's the plan. So those are videos, Rise of Endymion, Antisemitism, and, um, well, the book Dragon Tag. Possibly, possibly something on uh, The Great Cities um, by N.K. Jameson, depending on my thoughts and how to structure that. I have ideas. <clears throat> There's even a chance that there will be a collab kind of conversation about that whole thing. We will see. Stay tuned for that. Um, but, you know, if you haven't, you know, put the world we make or the city we became on your TBRs or whatever you use to track your reading, go do that immediately. It's fantastic. It's great. Book two will be great. You're going to love it or you'd better love it because it's important. All right. There we go. Video plans. Possibly more in the future. I do have like another like vague idea. And I'm still working on, but it hasn't crystallized yet. We will see how those things go. So yeah, the, the anti-Semitism thing. See, I've, I I plunged in. Maybe I went too far. I read uh, some and you know some academic books on the subject last week, which is why my you know fiction reading went down. I, I went and read like a whole um, what's it called anti-Semitism: A History, which is a collection of essays covering. Um, anti, you know, Jew hatred through the ages in, by different authors from like a historical perspective, just to, you know, I'm doing that kind of stuff. And I'm like, maybe I'm doing going too far here. But on the other hand, it did feel really good to actually go back and dive back into like academic reading and not just fiction reading and planning this out more like a, like an essay or, you know, a paper for university or something, something I haven't done in a while for mostly mental health reasons. And I'm, I'm glad I did it. It, it or I'm still doing it. I'm, I'm really enjoying this part of, you know, digging into a topic. It's like, hey, this is how you can apply to this and this and this. And I, I hope I can manage to actually 
bring that across once the radio is done. We will see if that works out or not, but that's sort of the idea. And I, I've, I think I've got the rough structure. I'll just see if I can find some more like specific literature. I haven't found any, you know, very specific literature on anti-Semitic tropes in fantasy, um, specifically, you know, but I've only trolled through JSTOR, so maybe I've just missed something. I need to refine my keywords. I'm, after all, not a literary scholar, so I'm, I'm maybe not used to the discourses, magazines, and so forth, where I could have found something for that. We will see. Maybe I'll do some more reading in that regard, but the basic structure is there. And uh, that's something I'm, you know, I'm kind of looking forward to doing. Beyond that, um, yeah, why is this video one day light again? It's like um, I had to take a small trip um, to visit my mother because my sister has <laughs> graced our country for a couple of days. She, she doesn't live in Germany, and so when she actually comes over for, in this case, business reasons, um, I felt obliged to actually go and meet up with them and have a bit of a chat and stuff like that. And yeah, I got, I'm glad I did it, but it obviously meant uh, me being abroad, not being able to record videos yesterday. And uh, that's just something I have to live with. I'm also very, very exhausted by it. It's like, the exhaustion thing is something that I've realized. Like I have no problem digging into like a book and reading a book for like five, six, seven hours straight. But human interaction currently is exhausting me and in ways that I've, I've yeah probably part of the whole like mental health issue but I don't know it's I talk to people for a couple of hours I'm just like dead I can just drop dead that's not how I've been before so I, I don't know what's going on there I'm certainly worried by it and I hope it'll I hope it'll pass I hope I'll get you know energy back because anything like not even not just just talking with people in the same room, but like generally doing things outside of reading and thinking about the one project that I focus on is is becoming harder and harder. It's like if I do like two two hours of like non-reading per day these days, I'm good. <clears throat> That's great. And like that, that just can't be it, right? It's like I should be able to do more productive work outside of reading because no one's paying me to read. And that's the sad part of this. <laughs> Now, if I find a job where people just pay me to read books and then tell them what I read, that would be perfect. But uh, I, I doubt, I doubt I can find that kind of job. Anyway, if you need a researcher in anything, just let me know. <laughs> I'm available. <laughs> so yeah, the TBR thing. I've, I've, I've talked about that before, right? Um, I don't do TBRs. I, it's one of those things where I'm like, I could probably do monthly TBRs on, on BookTube and make a monthly TBR and wrap up video. And I've obviously always avoided them. And part of that is that I, I just don't want to do the things that everyone does. It just annoys me for no actual reasons. It's more like me being stupid. And having this inner resistance whenever anyone's just like, hey, this makes a lot of sense. I'm like, no, of course it doesn't. Which is no, stupid, but I've been a punk for a long time, right? So that, uh, that reflex is there. But the other part is that I'm just not really good at sticking to any kind of like structure or long list of, you know, things or order of things to do. So like a TBR is not something that works. And I do hate the word mood reader because I don't think it works for me. I'm not, I'm not a mood reader. It's, it's something different in a way. Um, but right now, I feel like I've, I've always got like an actual worked out TBR, and that is for something very, very unfortunate or fortunate, which is like almost all the interesting books, well, to me, interesting books, which I guess means books that most of BookTube has been ignoring or will ignore for a while, are all coming out in like the span of one month, basically, like last, you know. Prior to September's Terry Pratchett biography, there's been only one 2022, no, two. <clears throat> two 2022 releases that I've read. One was a version by Alistair Reynolds, and the other one was um, A Spectre Haunting Europe by uh, China Mieville, the non-fiction book about the Communist Manifesto. And that's it. Now, I did miss one, because I'm an idiot, and I don't check up on all my authors all the time, and apparently I also don't follow the right media to find out what kind of books are coming out. <clears throat> I'm really bad at this booktubing thing, right? <laughs> Um, but <laughs> beyond that, anything interesting for me that I'm like really hyped to read is, you know, coming out 
since like two weeks ago, the new Cormac McCarthy, um, The Passenger came out. And then, as I said, The World We Make by N.K. Jameson came out last week. And this week, um, Lavi Tidar's new one, which is, I guess, called Maror, is coming out. And next week, there's another one called Neom, after that um, city um, <coughs> Saudi Arabia is talking about building in the desert and stuff. But it's kind of set in the Central Station universe, which I already love, because I do love everything Lavi Tidar rates. So <coughs> that's next week covered. And then, on 6th of December, um, Stella Maris, uh, part two, or sort of a companion novel to um, The Passengers coming out by Cormac McCarthy. That's two, two McCarthys and two Lavi Tidars in one, like, basically one month and a bit, and one new N.K. Jameson novel. And then I have to read The Warrior Prophet by R. Scott Baker, and I basically have a TBR. Am I? It's like, <laughs> read the world we make, then read Maror, then go read Neom, then go read, well, The Passenger, then go read Stella Maris, and possibly read The Warrior Prophet either before or after The Passenger, depending on how that goes. And then, then I'm set. And that's unusual, and I hope I can stick with that. And, of course, I hope I can actually fit Ilium in, because I'm already afraid that I'll lose my, you know, momentum for the whole Dan Simmons thing. I mean, it's already been, like, over a week since the, the Endymion video, more like two weeks and a bit, and I'm like, I should probably have done this video for, like, a while. This is an ongoing series. I shouldn't have let too much time, you know, <sighs> elapse between those videos. Also, I should definitely set up a playlist, and I kind of forgot to do that. Well, maybe I'll remember now. Who knows? We'll see. <laughs> so that, that's that's sort of where I'm afraid that if I, if I don't start Ilium soon, I may not you know, pick up my nerves to actually, you know, do it, because I know I'll be angry again, and I know it's not a good book, but I also feel I should, because someone has to, because otherwise we'll always have only, like, hey, this is the most amazing book ever on BookTube, and I'm like, no, it, it may actually be harmful, or maybe someone should point that out so people know that there is a second side to that whole thing. Right? So that's sort of where I'm at, and I hope I'll, you know, I hope I'll find time to read Ilium and make notes and make the video, possibly next week. I mean, I have no idea how long the, the that first Lavi Tidar is, but I'm, I know the second one is fairly short. It's only like, I don't know, the audiobook is five hours and a bit. So I guess I'll be done with that one fairly quickly. Um, so we will see, but... That's sort of where I'm at right now. It's like, suddenly all the books that are good or will be good or <clears throat> are supposed to be good or whatever are coming out in one month. <laughs> I also wish there would be more people out there that plan to read anything by Lavi Tidar so I can talk with them. Sometimes feels like I'm, as I said, the only person <laughs> holding up that flag. I know um, that at least some people are going to read um, The World We Make by N.K. Jameson, so there's that. But beyond that, I guess... A lot of people will be talking about um, Cormac McCarthy, and uh, I have plans for that too. Uh, who knows? Oh yeah, and the, and the book that I obviously uh, forgot to talk, uh, didn't find out about is apparently there's a new thriller by Elizabeth Hand. And those of you who actually watch my older videos, which I don't know, maybe do, <laughs> uh, know that I do really, really love the books uh, of Elizabeth Hand. Both Wilding Hall and Wake in the Moon are fantastic, and they're very unique and all ways, but yeah, there's a new one, and it's apparently set on Hawaii, and I have no idea about it, but I'll, 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 I'll read it as soon as I can, you know, find an audible credit for it, and then I'll get to it, because I expect it'll be really good. Maybe I'll find something interesting to talk about there as well. Who knows? So there we are. Way too many books to read, um, way too many projects, and not enough energy to do any of them. I'm still so fucking exhausted, I'll just, you know, pass out after this, and uh, <laughs> we'll see how much time it will take me to actually upload this. We will see. Anyway, I hope you had a great week, um, I hope you're doing fantastic, and I'll see you in something more serious very soon. Until then, go read some great books. Um, yeah. Do some fun things, and uh, thanks for sticking with me. I do really, really appreciate it. Anyway, have a great week. Cheers.